Mandy Hale said, the two things you will never have to chase, true friends and true love. They say it's all about the chase. It's where all the effort goes, all the fun is. Well, if it's a chase, it means there's effort from one side and not from the other. And sometimes the other person is playing hard to get, or maybe they're just genuinely not interested. This is Jane. She's trying so hard to impress the guy she's about to go on a date with. She has no idea if she's going to like him or not, but she's trying to predict what he will and won't like. Every time she tries something on, she's moving further away from who she is. She thinks if she can look a certain way, like all the girls on Instagram do, then she will stand a much better chance. It's amazing how we're not scared about attracting someone to someone we're not. And here's the interesting thing. We chase people because we feel they have something we don't. Or we think life would instantly be better if we have them in our lives. And the crazy thing is, there's no truth in that at all. It's just an idea. It's just our imagination that we amplify and expect to turn into reality. And that's why the chase is so misleading. We want someone who will be present, but we chase someone who's distracted. We want someone who will be interested in us but we chase someone who has no interest. We want someone to be available, but we chase those who are unavailable. Have you ever noticed that it almost attracts us more? It's almost like the bad girl or guy is more desirable. Have you ever wondered why? Well, I was reading a study where Helen Fisher talks about how romantic rejection stimulates the part of the brain that's associated with motivation, reward, addiction, and cravings. So the simple way of putting it, it's like when you know something is bad for you, but you still go after it. Food, addiction, any of those sorts of things. We do it because we feel rejection means a lack of worth in us. And the only way to prove our worth is to receive love from that person. It's, it's messed up. We've all been there. We obsess over the message. Is now too soon? Is it too late? What do I write? What do I say? We obsess over the reply. How long will they take? I sent it three minutes ago. We keep checking every single moment, hoping that that person responds. And remember, when we chase something, we usually fall, right? When you're running after something, when you're chasing something, that's when you fall. Because as Will Smith said, don't chase people, be yourself, do your own thing and work hard. The right people, the ones who really belong in your life, will come to you and stay.